I suppose my story of vocation uh, starts with a holiday in Rome and a pilgrimage uh, for the holy year of 1975. I saw Pope Paul VI with hundreds of thousands of other people. It was a school trip. One of my friends persuaded me to come along to join him. It wasn't my plan to go, but I saw the church universal. I was young, I was 14 years old. I was deeply impressed by it, I can't deny it. No priest approached me to say, you should become a priest. That happens to a lot of people. It didn't happen to me, but I knew lots of priests and they impressed me. They impressed me by the way they lived, the things they said, what they did. And having come back from Rome and knowing these priests since I was a young boy, I was impressed by them and gradually something grew within me. And eventually I asked my mum and dad if I could go to minor seminary. And so I did. I didn't like my first year at all. I was homesick. After that, I made good friends and they are still my best friends. They're still priests, priests with me, and I've been a priest for 30 years now. It can be very humbling because you get to touch people's lives at very important moments, or the grace of God working through you gets to touch people's lives at these moments. But you're able to collaborate with that. You're able to cooperate with God's grace for the benefit of the whole church. And it's a lovely thing to have the Eucharist and the sacraments at the center of your daily living. If you want to be a priest, go and find a priest that you know and respect and talk it over with him. Spend time in prayer, spend time in silence before the Blessed Sacrament, and God will speak to you. I would say something else as well. Remember, and it's a thing that I learned slowly but surely, it's not your vocation. It's God's vocation. God calls you to the priesthood. And sometimes it will be a call that you want to put away, you want to deny, you want to forget, but God will persist and the idea will grow with his grace within your heart. And bit by bit, you will see for yourself. But God will call you, the church will discern that vocation, and please God, it will be his will that you will become a priest. For information on the priesthood or religious life, log on to www.ewtn.com slash religious life.